Hello and welcome back to the PSD to HTML flat design build. Over the course of this video series, we've taken this Photoshop file that we've created here in a previous video series, and we've converted this Photoshop file into an HTML and CSS document. And when it comes to learning HTML and CSS, there are always multiple ways to solve a problem. For example, in our menu up here at the top, we created these dividers with these circles in them. There are numerous ways we could have done that, but we just covered one of those possible ways. So when it comes to converting Photoshop files to HTML and CSS, don't think of your methods as being either right or wrong, but think of them in terms of being efficient. Think of them in terms of maintainability, and especially when you're thinking of HTML and CSS, think in terms of semantics. I like to try to keep my markup or my HTML as clean as possible, which is why, for example, with this menu at the top, I didn't add extra list items for our dividers. Instead, we took care of all of that in our CSS. So that's one of the guidelines I try to keep in mind when I'm building something, is I want to try to keep my HTML as clean as possible and as semantic as possible. But again, hopefully it's helpful to have multiple different PSD to HTML video courses because there are numerous types of layouts, numerous types of designs out there, numerous techniques that you could use to build these out in HTML and CSS. And with every different design that we look at, hopefully we learn a little bit more about how to take a Photoshop file think through the structure and the design of it so that we can create this in HTML and CSS. So hopefully you've learned a lot from this video course and hopefully you've had fun doing it. So once again, my name is Craig Campbell and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.